most of the people are familiar with escape room games. Well, we have developed something very similar, but this is an escape car game. And here it is. The game is downloaded and it basically works on both the vehicle infotainment system as well as on the smartphone. Once authorized, it basically controls everything from your radio to the air conditioning, the three seats you're sitting on, all the way up to the booth. The game itself is a spy game to deliver a parcel to a rendezvous point. Now we can meet the players. You don't know me, but I believe you have something I need in your vehicle. Start the vehicle if you're willing to help. Good. Now I need to make sure you're in the correct car. A sequence of images will appear on your screen. Figure out what they are and then put the different words together to form a new word or phrase. The last word is made up of letters you will find in the cabin. Listen carefully. Find the letter nearest the plus sign by your right hand when holding the wheel. The first letter on the label on the side of your seat. Oh, it may be this airbag. The letter nearest the plus sign by your left hand when holding the wheel. The letter in the circle etched on the glass. When you have a complete phrase, tell it to me. You can not be fast. I'm sorry, that phrase isn't recognized. Please try again. You cannot be late. Correct. Vehicle confirmed. Please start traveling to the destination I've inputted into the navigation. But make sure you don't draw attention to yourself by speeding. Cool down. You're going too fast. Oh, it's coming up the breeze. When you arrive at the destination, you must flash your headlights three times, turn the engine off, and then look straight ahead. Do not look behind you. Okay. The package is safe. You've done a great service to your country. Thank you. We did it. This element of gamification is quite important. It's a natural element for us that we can use to bridge the time, especially for charging a vehicle like this. But not only that, uh, just imagine the interaction with an owner's manual could be a lot more fun, actually, as well as using it to help teach young drivers driving more safely or more mindful in our current traffic situations.